Hi guys, my name is Dino. Recently I was listening to Drake's last album called Certified Lover Boy and I saw an interesting cover that it has. It has 12 different emojis of a pregnant woman. So I did the research and I saw that a lot of people creating their own versions. For example like this one. And Adobe created their own version as well. Also the famous 3D artist Beeplecrap has own version. And even the Crocs have one. So I decided to create Blender version. So I was thinking, what should I include instead of emoji? What reminds us of Blender the most? And of course, it's Suzanne. Sorry default cube, maybe next time. So I will need 12 different versions of Suzanne, so I created a to-do list. Mostly I wanted to show the 3D software world through the versions. So let me show you the whole process. First on the list was Solid Monkey. I wanted to render a regular view for Suzanne. I opened the blender, removed the default cube and point light and set my camera to look in front. After that I added Suzanne with the shift and day and I wanted this scene to be the same scene for all versions so I save it up. Then I went to the viewport shading and here I was able to change the look of the viewport scene. I turned on the cavity and set the type as a boat. Then I changed the material in the viewport to a gray color. After that I changed the color type to be a standard and I wanted to be transparent so I turned on transparency under film. I used Eevee as a render engine and now I need to render it out. The way we are rendering viewport is by going under view and there is an option called viewport render image. Once it was done I save it as a solid monkey and I move on to the next one. For this version I wanted to show normal maps as a part of the 3D world and Blender. I just went to the viewport shading and switched it to the map cap. And after that I selected normal maps as a viewport shader. I rendered it out from the viewport, save it as a normal monkey and it was done. Metallic Suzanne is on the list because metal shaders are very important for the 3D world and Blender is also capable of handling and creating them. I went to the viewport shader, select metallic shader, render it out from the viewport and save it as a metallic monkey. And it was done. After metallic monkey, next one was a cartoon one. I wanted to show that Blender is capable of creating cartoons, so for that reason I went once again under viewport shading, select cartoon shader, render it out as an image and save it as a cartoon monkey. The next one was a weight monkey and here I wanted to show the weight painting which is primarily used for rigging meshes where the vertex groups are used to define the relative bone influence on the mesh. So I switched from object mode to weight painting mode, added some weight to the blue head and rendered it out as a weight monkey. So this version was also done. For this Suzanne I wanted to show the fear of entering in wireframe mode as a beginner, so I added a wireframe modifier, tweak it a little bit and render it out as a wire monkey. Also if you want to learn how to use Blender and become professional 3D artist, check out our online academy rendercraft.com. Currently there is more than 80 courses available and we are creating a new course every single month. So make sure that you check it, link will be in the description. So now let's go back to the video. For this version I wanted to add a neon retro vibe to the scene. So I duplicated already made wire monkey and removed the wireframe modifier from it. Then I created a new material where I added a mission node on both monkeys and play with the color and strength as well. I turned on bloom on the render settings to get the bloom effect and now I render it out regularly and save it as a neon monkey. For this version I wanted to add a 2D and grease pencil wipe, 
so I deleted WireMonkey, added two area lights and turned on the freestyle option and the render properties so I got an outline on the final render from it. Also I created basic yellow material and rendered it out and it was done. Next on the list was the tracker monkey and I wanted to add tracker texture for tracking UV maps as an essential part of 3D software. So I created a new image texture and changed the generated type as a color grid. After that I render it out and save it as a tracker monkey. For the wood monkey I created new material under shading and I imported wood texture. I also added a bump node to add some creases so I connected wood texture to the bump node and play with the strength. Once I was done I rendered it out and save it as a wooden monkey. Clay Monkey I wanted to show Blender powerful sculpting mode. I imported the fingerprint texture and connected to the roughness node. Because of the wooden version I already got bump node connected. I play with the scale and the texture coordinate and bump strength to get the desired look. Once I got that I render it out and save it as a Clay Monkey. Blender Guru creates videos about Blender and 3D software. He created the most famous Blender tutorial where he explains how to create a 3D donut and he increased Blender popularity with it. So for that reason I wanted to create a donut monkey. So I imported the donut that I made from the tutorial to have it there on the scene, so I can grab particles and materials as well. First I changed the Suzanne material and set it to be the same as a donut. Next, for the icing, I duplicate the top part of Suzanne's head and separate it with B to be a separate object. Next, I added solidifier and subdivision modifiers. Some of the vertices down and I added the same material that I got on the donut icing. After that, I apply solidifier modifier and selected all Suzanne, Suzanne icing and the donut icing last and I joined them together. Now that I got particles on Suzanne, I play with the number and scale of them. I got rid of the donut and changed the render engine to cycle. I turn on GPU rendering and denoise and render it out. Once the rendering was done, I save it as a donut monkey. Now that we have all versions ready, we need to create the final image. So the easiest way to create the final image is to use design software like Photoshop or Illustrator. But since we are used to Blender, we will finish it in Blender. So let me show you how. I created a new Blender file and I got rid of the default cube and point light. I went to preferences to check if I got turned on the Blender add-on called image as a plane, which allows adding images as a plane. Next I switch the camera to orthographic and place it on the top of the grid. After that I start importing images, one by one, and I turn on the snap tool. I made 3 rows and 4 columns as the reference image. Once I was done with the distribution I switched the color mode from film to standard and went to the world setting to add white color to it. I also added a basic plane with white material for the background. Lastly I set the camera and render it out and everything was done. So that's it about this video, I hope you like it and stay tuned because in the next video we will talk about NFT and I will show you how you can create your own NFT and how you can sell it. Until that, bye!